Okay, blenders. I don't even know how many we're gonna need, but I'm just gonna make like six of them. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Six. There we go. I'm pretty sure this takes up a lot more space than the manufacturers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does because it's like overhanging like by like one tile. So it's I guess slightly larger. This is connected. Okay, so... What next? So we're gonna do fuse modular frames. Yeah, we're gonna do batteries later on. And then cooling systems, we still need to like get the recipe. Or the alternate recipe. the hell? Did I not do this right? Yeah, I didn't do that right because light turned on once it has a recipe. So I need a nitrogen gas, I need aluminum casings and heavy modular frames. Okay, so let's just get this out of the way first. I'm just gonna do it like this. snap to the thing here. Snapped here, but not here. We're going to put it, like, right over here. Wait, why is this crooked? Because this is crooked. You know what? I don't feel like fixing it anymore. So, let's just do this. There we go. Now you have nitrogen gas going in all of these. Okay, next we need aluminum casings and heavy modular frames. So how are we going to do that? Are these aluminum casings? No, aluminum sheets. No, oh, the aluminum casings are over here. Okay. What 
if we go through here, like, I need a place for the pipeline here. So what if I bring it through here, then? And then I have it pop up here. And then heavy modular frames are down here, so we also need to bring them up. Uh, how are we going to do that? Wait, why is this here? Hmm. Okay, I have an idea. I have it. So, what we're gonna do... That's not going to work. Okay, we're going to have a wall here and a conveyor wall. Here. Then we bring it up this way. And there we go. Look at that. That works. Okay, so we have the heavy modular frames. Now we just need the sheets here. Is this lined up? I think it goes like. Yeah, I think it's it's actually supposed to go here. So, if we put it like this. Wait, why did I do that? It is supposed to go like this. Okay, go down here. Bring it up this way. Oh. Down I go. <laughs> okay, so we have both of them now.
D2 and 3. There we go. Now we got both of these items here. Then we bring it all the way here. All right, splitters. I think we can get rid of the stuff on the hot bar now. Okay, splitter goes over here. There we go. Need to connect these. Where's those heavy modular frames now? You know what? Just split this up. There we go. Just gonna make sure everything is working properly. Nitrogen. Oh, what the hell? Somehow I forgot this. See, that's why you check. Make sure everything's working properly, and it is. Alright, so we're starting to get the fuse modular frames. Now we will merge it in this direction. And then go in this direction. Now we're finally... Oh, come on. We're finally getting the fused modular frames. Get uh, our storages up and running. Now, I don't know how many of these things we actually need. Wait, I do know. I wrote it down somewhere. Okay, so... We need 2,000 modular frames for project assembly. How much is a stack though? I'm, a, I'm gonna assume it's 50. So, 24. We're gonna do an industrial storage, just one.
so 48 times 50 is 24 times 100, so 2400. Yeah, it's enough. That's pretty much how I do math in my head. It's like, if the numbers are too confusing, like change it to different numbers. Just gotta make sure they're equal. Since there's 48 slots and there's 50 in a stack for the fuse modular frames, it's 48 times 50, also 24 times 100, which is much easier to calculate in your head. Anyway, we're done here. Alright, now what's next? Yeah, while that's building up, I'm gonna go and... Uh, we're gonna go exploring. Gonna go get some more slugs and hard drives. I do need to make sure that I can get the mammoth up and running. So we're gonna need some of these reinforced iron plates over here. Just need one stack. Yeah, it seems like the bottleneck is the rods here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hmm. You know what? Maybe... Turn these into MK5s. Like, these are still MK1s. I haven't upgraded these yet. Yeah, it looks like some of you are starving for iron rods. So if we overclock these middle ones, with our two remaining things here, that should go much faster. Yeah, I might as well just upgrade all of these lines. I don't want to be doing too much work here, so we're just going to upgrade the lines, do the overclocking, and that's it. I don't want to be rearranging anything around here anymore at this point. Like, I could probably remove this section and just turn this into cast screws. Or remove that section and turn these into cast screws. But that would require me to change around stuff. Don't feel like doing that at this point in time. I just wanted to do a quick fix. Oh, what the hell? Well, that needs to happen. Alright, so I think we're done here. I just need to make sure that I can put down the MAM, and yes I can. Oh, and while I'm out there, I do want to... ...do some geothermal power. 14 should be good enough, so we're gonna need to... Get some more supercomputers. Heavy modular frames, high speed connectors, copper sheets, all that good stuff. It's a good thing I remembered that. Wait, is there anything in the man right? Oh! We had we already scanned another hard drive. So quick wire cable, no. Fused quick wire, no. 
Wait, I do have the copper ingots nearby. Hmm. But do we really need more quick wire? Because this... This seems a lot more convenient and usable than this one with my current setup. Like, I, I didn't even realize I had a recipe in there. But it's not the cooling device I was looking for, so anyway. What I want... What was I going to get from here? Okay, we already have radio control units. We don't need that. Uh, supercomputers? Plastic, uh... What was this? Computers. I'll just take these. So we have 200... something. We don't need that many. Alright, so let's prepare for this trip. Uh, I'm just gonna put away this stuff. We don't need that many. Oh, computers are right here. You know what? I'm just gonna put this in here real quick. Okay, next we're gonna need copper sheets. This is still going strong. Upper sheets are down here. Uh, where are you? Okay, we don't need that many. Uh, do, do we have some rubber here that I can grab? Yeah, I do. In fact, I have a lot of computers here as well. Might as well bring them over. And heavy modular frames? Nope. High speed connectors I'll take. Yeah, since I still don't have supercomputers like fully automated yet, I might as well just keep this makeshift thing going just so we have like those supercomputers. Like I can automate it now. But I'd rather... I'm just basically prioritizing just like certain things. Actually, might as well get some more of those high-speed connectors. Put that in there. Should also check this other one. That's still good. I don't really need this stack here, so... Just want one full stack of it. All right, so let's get some heavy modular frames, rubber, and high-speed connectors, and then we'll head out. I just want to make sure we're taking full stacks with us. I do want to capture the geothermal geysers while I'm out there. It's basically just free power, so why not? We'll get the high-speed connectors first. Oh, come on. Okay, high speed connectors are right over here. We'll get the rubber last because that's where the entrance is. Okay, that's good enough. Pretty much all of our production here is paused except for one for the AI limiters. 
We really don't need that many. And then rubber. Take one more stack, just in case. A couple stacks of plastic, just in case. And we should be good. Alright, let's head out. Harvest it. Now, probably right now, I could have just completed that milestone and moved on to the next one. Whatever, well, I'll do it when I get back. I still need to build up that stockpile of fused modular frames. I haven't checked... Uh, I haven't checked the power consumption in a while, but we should still be overproducing at this point. Now, there is a crash site over there, I just noticed. And I still haven't taken anything in this area. Like... That includes the slugs. And I keep mentioning that every time I pass through here. And still do nothing about it. Uh, whatever. It looks like this is still going strong. I don't think we're going to need this area. It's like I filled it in for like no reason. At this point, like, the only purpose for these fuel generators here is to deal with the heavy oil. And it looks like it is dealing with it quite well. I saw those generators over there not being fueled. Being fueled like sometimes. They just turned green and now it's red again. Yeah, it's just continuing to go. And we didn't have any, like, black powder to bring with us. Smokeless powder. Actually, how, how much is in here? Oh, we didn't really need to bring any more. We'll just keep going. But anyway. What I'm planning on doing is just going through here. 